Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn about periodic properties. Periodic properties means the properties which repeat at regular intervals of time is called as periodic property and in that so many properties are there. For example, atomic size, atomic radius, ionization energy, Ea means electron affinity and then En electronegativity and Ep electropositivity and metallic and non-metallic properties. All these are called as periodic properties which repeat at their regular intervals of period like 2, 8, 8, 18 etc. So in this today we will learn about atomic size. Atomic size means it is a distance between the nucleus and shell. This is outermost shell we have to consider not an inner shell like this. So the shell which is present at last is considered as outermost shell. The distance between the nucleus and this outermost shell is called as atomic radius. If atomic radius is like this then we can also call it as atomic size. Here if the radius is more and the size is more, if radius is less and the size is also less. So that we can call it as atomic size is directly proportional to atomic radius. So in this atomic radius there are three or four, four types of atomic radius are there based on the type of bonding that is present between the elements. And this one is covalent radius. What is meant by covalent radius? Covalent radius means the distance here you can see here the distance between the two nucleus of two bonded atoms. This is called as covalent bond and these two are elements. If you take hydrogen this is one H and this is one more hydrogen and these two are the nucleus of each hydrogen. So it is the distance between these two nucleus and half of the distance between these two nucleus of two bonded covalently bonded hydrogen atoms is called as covalent radius you can also write it as half of a atomic radius you can also say atomic radius means distance between the nucleus and its outermost shell and half of the distance between the two nucleus of two covalently bonded elements or atoms is called as at covalent radius. One more radius is called as Van der Waals radius. Van der Waals radius means it is generally present in non-bonded gaseous atoms. That means these two are there is no bond between these two elements. If you observe See there is no bond but here these two are overlapping with each other. So it is nucleus of one element, it is nucleus of another element. If you see these two are neon which are noble gases generally and it is the nucleus of two non-bonded atoms. So the distance between these two are called as generally atomic radius. Half of the distance between the two nucleus of two non-bonded elements is called as Van der Waals radius. Van der Waals radius is always greater than the covalent radius. Okay and one more is also called as that is metallic radius. It is also the half of the distance between the nucleus of two metal atoms that are present in a metallic crystal. These are the three type of atomic a radius we can study in the periodic properties. With this I will end my topic. Thank you.